so you're not gonna tell me what's going on. No. That, that, that was, if I, it is, if it, if that's what you guys are doing, that's what you guys are going to do. Right. At some point. Right. It is what it is. Right. You know, people do it all the time, but you don't need to lie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was sucking. Here. Hello, you good-looking son of a bitch. Today we're going to be watching a body cam video of a priest that took prey a little too seriously. Anyway, before I get into the video, this is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if you do, that sucks because I'm not a lawyer. So a little bit of backstory. The cops were called because of a noise complaint. After they had arrived on the scene, they found a car in a no trespassing area. While investigating the car, they found two people in the back a 48-year-old priest, and a 16-year-old with his pants down. Not a good look. So let's get into it before we get boring. How's it going, sir? Hey, how are you? Stepping out of here for me? Got the door for me? How's it doing, man? You have any weapons on you or anything like that? No, 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 sir. You got ID on you? Yes. You have your ID on you? No. You don't have any ID on you? No, no identification. It's all right, sir. I'll get your name. You step over here. Go to my car right there. Okay. okay. Step over there. Just stand right there. Lean on the car for me. Put your hands on the car. Now I'm just going to pat you down for weapons, okay? All right. Here, right here. Stand on the car. Stand on the car for me. Do you have anything on you? No. Well, I have my phone on you. That's fine. Just leave it there. Are we being detained? Yes, that's right now. Here, I'm private property. Oh, you can put your hands on the car. Don't, don't lean on the car. Just put your hands on the car. Put your feet. You have anything on you? No. Just your phone. No weapons in there. What's that? Your headphones? Yeah. Alright, you can put your hands on the car. 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 Put your hands on What's your name? Alfonso. Alfonso. A L F O N Z O. Yeah. Last name? Joseph. Right. What's your date of birth? 11673. Alright, just stand right there for a second. What are you guys doing? Obviously, it's kind of obvious. Who's he to you? Huh? Who's he to you? Um, just the friend, I guess. So, uh, who's this guy? Um, a friend of mine. Okay, how old is he? Um, 18. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? No. No. Do you have any kind of identification? No. Where's he live? Um, in the L section. Okay. So, what's his name? What's his last name? Um, I don't know his last name. I always call him. Okay. So, what are you guys doing out here? Uh, we're just chilling. That's all. Just chilling. It was getting hot in the car, so I just took my shirt off. Well, when I walked up, you were putting your shorts on. No, my shorts. Because a lot of times, in my shorts, they get kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. So, I was like trying to fix them. Okay. Cause when you see in the car, you get, you get wet. It's sometimes give you a wedge. Well, it seems like V cards are not the only thing he's trying to take from kids, considering how bad that excuse was. I mean, I guess there's not much he can really try and say, considering he actually got caught with his pants down. It's always crazy to see a member of the community that's supposed to be good and stand up for people be a complete hypocrite and do some shit that you're absolutely not supposed to do at all and have no remorse. I mean, Norbit here didn't even seem apologetic. Like he's trying to lie about the kids age and get away with it that's fucking weird okay so we see how it looks i come up you two are in the back seat right because the front seat um we, the front seat is like far away from me <laughs> he's, he's he said the front seat is far away from me like he's not the same size as the fucking car <laughs> what the fuck mm -hmm. so i was like you know just talking communicating trying to get to know him and um and that was it but but you see how it looks I, to me i got you you guys are in the back i got you i got you doing something because sure. yeah. as soon as we turned our lights on you started moving around real fast yeah because you know it's a secluded, secluded place mm -hmm. and we wouldn't expect them yeah you know and i understand and there's not supposed to be anybody back here oh no no there's a no trespassing sign over by the, oh, I the entrance over sign. there wow. how long That's you been up here how long i've been out here mm -hmm. maybe 15 minutes okay and I was just getting ready to drop him off home. Okay. Why are you going to jail? No, no one's going to jail right I just told you, it was just to be entertained because mm -hmm. you're on private property, okay? It's a no trespassing sign around the front. Okay. Oh, All right, you guys are in no trespassing area, okay? It's not free to go until we figure out what's going on, okay? Where were you guys coming from? Oh, we just come from this house. Oh, okay. Can I put my shirt on because it's mosquitoes? No, I'd just rather you stay out of the car for right now. Just try and smack them off. Oh, okay. So who is he to you? This is a friend. Where'd you meet him? Um, 
I met him um, a couple of days ago, and then we wanted to meet up just to get to know him, and, and that was it. Okay. Yeah. It's been crazy, you know. Nothing crazy? So you met him online, you said? No, well, not online. I met him, like, we was in Walmart one day, and then... So you guys just met up in Walmart? How did you guys just, like, face but, to face? When I met him online, um, in Walmart, then he um, texted me online. So how did he get your number? Who? He said he texted you. You guys met in Walmart, and then he started texting you a lot. Yes, online. Okay, so had, so you guys were just both shopping at Walmart, and yeah, then you guys yeah. started talking in Walmart when you guys saw each other? Right. Okay. Uh, I asked him a few questions, he was like, he was like, well, this place, and he was like, tell me where he came from, and I was telling where I came from, okay. and then that was it. You guys exchanged phone numbers at that point? And yeah. You, okay. And then so what'd you do, pick him up from his house? Yeah, or? I picked him up from his house. Because I worked late, so I said, well, um, maybe just come and talk over here. Okay. You know? Okay. And I didn't know it was a, a no trespassing yeah. sign. I knew it was a, I used to be a golf course. Yeah. And I, I didn't know it was a no trespassing sign, because other than that, I wouldn't have been over here. Yeah. This guy is so full of shit, he's built like the emoji. It's funny that instead of saying something along the lines of, I met him today, I barely know him, he decided to go on and say that he's known him for two weeks, which gives him an ample amount of time to learn his age. So if Medea's story was actually true, it would have been a lot worse because there was a lot more time involved, which means more messages, more proof, you know? Okay. How old are you? Um, I'll be 40, 48. What were you guys doing? Huh? What were you guys doing? We were just sitting back the seat talking. And I told, like I told the cop, I said, um, I took my shirt off because it was getting hot in the car. And then he says, I was trying to fix something. I said, yeah, I was fixing my shirt because a lot of times when you sweat, your shorts get... Well, your car's on, isn't it? Yeah, but the AC is, you know... It's pretty new to Toyota. Yeah, say it is pretty new. But sometimes it gets hot, so... Yeah, well, you guys have your pants down. I didn't you know, have a lie. I, mean, I, I kind of figure what's going on. I didn't have my pants down, though. No, he did he had his pants down? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, you're not going to tell me what was going on? No? That, that, that was, if, I, it I, is, if, it, if that's what you guys are doing, that's what you guys are going to do? Right. At some point? Right. It is what it is? Right. You know, people do it all the time, but you don't need to lie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was sucking in there. Have a seat in there? <sighs> now, is there anything in the car we need to worry about? I uh, know. Okay. Sit tight. Do I have to go to like the police station to do that? No. No, you can do that right here. Right here? Yeah. Am I being detained? At this time, yes. Like, like I'm going to jail? No. no. You're not under arrest, jail you're being detained. detained. Two different things. Okay, am I going to jail? You? You're just being detained, you're not under you're arrest. Not you're not, not free, free to leave. You're not free to go right now. And we are going to have to have you get a hold of your grandparents to come pick you up. Okay. I'll get you a statement. You're good, I got it. Stanford, you're good. All right, are you willing to talk to us? Yes. Okay. So, go over what occurred tonight. Uh, we just came and chilled okay. over here. Where'd you pick him up? Uh, from home. And do you know where his house is? Yeah. When did you, where'd you meet him again? At home. No, where'd you meet him? Like, oh, probably, Walmart. Where'd you guys first meet? Walmart. Walmart. Okay, how, how long ago was that? Maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And then you just met and what? And then I um, texted him. Well, okay. he texted me. And he wanted to talk, so we came over here to talk. Okay, you guys just been exchanging from phone mm -hmm. numbers when yeah. you guys were at Walmart and then just started talking for the past couple weeks? Right. Okay, and you said he advised you to come pick him up tonight? Yeah. Okay, and after you picked him up, well, you came over here, straight over here? Right. Okay, what were you guys going to do after that, after you were doing what you were doing? That was it. Yeah, you know, so all you were going to do, and what were you going to do after that? I was going to drop him back at home. Drop him off back at home? Yeah. Okay, is this the first time you ever had, like, interaction with him other than in Walmart? And besides uh, yeah, text? it's the first time, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so obviously we got two different stories. You said you met him today, first okay. time. First yeah. time you ever met him. You never met him anywhere else. Like I said, you're not in trouble. We're just trying to clarify the end of story. Yeah. So you didn't meet him at a Walmart a couple weeks ago? Really? You didn't meet him at a Walmart a couple weeks ago? You're saying you just met tonight. He's saying you met two weeks ago at Walmart and exchanged information. Mm -hmm. And you guys been talking since. That's not what happened, so you first met him today on yeah. Tinder? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's Did fine. you know how old he was by any chance? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and a very special thank you to Verox the Vigilante. Thank you so much for subscribing, my friend. I'll catch you in the back seat, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. Love you. I'll see you next time.